Well, hi there. <laughs> Look what I'm doing. I'm working on my first ever junk journal. Look, I'm doing it. I'm going to try this. So, I did it. I took a book, a little book, and um, took all the pages out. Let's see. And started with four signatures. Cute ass. So, I'm trying, but... Anyway... And it stenciled one page. That's cool. And I think I'll put this in. Ah! Huh. Put that on. Did some Norman Rockwell thingies. I've got washi tape. Some little tags. And did some hole punching. Wrapping paper. Look, there's an envelope I made a while ago out of sheet music and stamped it with swans. Ha! <laughs> and postcard with glitter ribbon on an ad card. And I think that this might be uh, more for a grandma, grandmother's journal. So, you know, kids and food. That's a thing. Kids in the kitchen. So, yeah, I thought, oh, there they go. Grandmothers and... Urgh, let me get this here. have a section. How did I have this? Anyway. Go through it later. But look, I took an old um, antique Valentine's card. Put in here and little stickers in the card to hold it in. Because it has a nice foil to it. And and I took this whole card to fold out and candy and cut out some more postcards, washi tape. Pretty cool, eh? Ha. Look at me. Isn't this pretty? It's a greeting card. Added some glued some tape onto it. That's a nice card. Christmas card. This gold ribbon, chevron ribbon, and it added washi tape. I like the cut, I mean, really. Sawdust doll. This is a really old book. Um, actually, I think it was my great, my, my uncle's as a child, so it's 1920s. Anyway, it has his name in it from when he was a little boy. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool book. Um, I just, I like the cover. I don't think I'll do too much more to the cover. But, um, no cat, no kitty. Not a good time. Not a good time, kitty. No, say, see you later, bye. Hop off. Thank you. And I found some velvet just to put on here. So we'll see. And then, um, I think what I want to do is just, maybe I can glue this on the back or something and do this all one-handed. Huh. So when I tie this off, and I'll take some of these. 
and attach to the tie so it'll dangle down here. So it'll be lace and ribbon and such. Let's see if I can facsimile this here so it'll have this ribbon hanging out. And hopefully this will be stacked nicely. Should all fit in there almost flush. I think it looks cool when it's off off centered and then I'll attach this on here somehow so that will dang it down. Anyway. Blah blah blah. See that? <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm doing it. Show you when I'm done later. Um, my next step right now is to check this out. I could not find. Ugh, hang on, let me stretch over here. I couldn't find my sewing box. I think I've packed it. I'm trying to move. I think I packed it, so I couldn't find my sewing box. I went through this place and I went through my grandparents' house, and I found an old, old sewing box almost a hundred years ago and this was in it and some really cool vintage material which I think I'll cut up for um, junk journal bundles and maybe sell bundles of fabrics so I have a whole bunch of fabrics but look at these pins I had to leave them stuck out look at the size of them holy mackerel what in God's green earth did they do with these? Man. And most of them are like coming through the other side. They're they're huge. Imagine look at these things. Man. Something. I can't even imagine. I can't. They're a little short, maybe, for hat pins, but maybe they are. Not all hat pins had to be real long. I don't know. I look dangerous. Anyway, I needed something to uh, boop, get going through, go through the signatures, put the holes in the signatures, and uh, yeah, any of these will do that. Crazy. All right, so I'm going to do the signatures and um, show you what it looks like when I'm done. Wish me luck. See ya.